Heck yeah. So your dad is in radio. It's yeah. funny. My dad, back in the day when he was, you know, a good professional, he was in radio too. So oh. I like, I grew up as a kid, you know, going to the radio station. Where? I, I can't remember. In, Pu- in Puerto Rico. Oh, that's okay. where I'm from. And um, so when I saw that, I was like, oh, that's so cool. That's so funny. My yeah. dad was in the marketing, you know, side. So it had nothing to do with uh, radios. But, uh-huh. you know, I, I would see it, you know, when I would go to his work. And how was that? Like, did you go in... You know, yeah. I started going with him on Saturdays. Okay. So I didn't quite understand. My parents didn't explain to me fame or people or like what his job was. All mm. I knew is that anytime we left the house, people would come up to him and ask for his autograph or pictures. And I was annoyed uh, because, well, he didn't tell me, you know, I was. And I remember sense, yeah. there'd be times where we'd go to the movies and our thing was to go to City Walk. And I remember before I left the house, I'm like, no, puedes tomarte fotos y no puedes dar autógrafos, okay? Estás con tu familia. Oh my God. But it's, you knew as a kid, like, I don't, just be, just be, like, just no, be normal. No, it's not that I knew. Like, that was what I was, that's all I knew. I mean, my dad got famous really early on in my life. I think by the time I was in kindergarten, he had blown up. Whoa. So it was just what I knew. I didn't know that not everyone's parents got asked for autograph. Ah. Like it didn't, they did it didn't click. Mm-hmm. So it was cool. But at the same time, like I never had my dad. And so I remember being a daddy's girl and all I wanted was to hang out with my dad. And I was like, he can't take me to school. He can't pick me up from school. He doesn't ah. help me with my homework because he's sleeping. So he started taking me to the station with him on Saturday mornings because um, he wanted me to see what he actually does. Cause I was just like complaining. Um, and then he had me be a part of the show. So he had me improv with him. And I remember I, it was short lived because one, I had, to, he had to be on the air at six o'clock in the morning and it was Saturday and I was like, I want to watch cartoons. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> and then two, when he would have me improv and join in on his skits, he would yell at me if I didn't do something right. <gasps> Cause that's, but that's how Latino parents yeah. are. It's yeah, like, you're yeah, not yeah. telling me what to do. Like, you're not teaching me. You're just yelling yeah, at me. Yeah, just, yeah. But I'll be honest. Yeah. I, I got to admit, like, I, I'm pretty sure that experience, as short-lived as it was, I did, I did it for a few months. I think it helped me with what I'm doing now because sure. I yeah. didn't think I could do comedy before, but I had a comedian mm-hmm. living in my house. So everything that I was doing, it was already in me. Mm-hmm. I was just, yeah. I just thought I had to follow all these rules because of acting school and, you know, uh, callbacks and all that. I understand it, but I, I don't know. There's a different formula that I learned by watching my dad and it just clicked. Did yeah. your parents put you in acting or was that something you, you wanted you to did. do on your yeah, own? Yeah, I did on my own. Yeah. And what, how old were you when, when you decided or when you when like I you felt inspired, I, I want to be an actress or a performer. I, I was 16. 16. I was 16. I, was, I had no idea. What was the thing, event, or person <laughs> that 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 gave you that inspiration? Uh, I got kicked off the cheer squad at my high school. That's what happened. I'd always wanted and to do it. And you ended up doing a movie. Oh, that's oh so my God, that's crazy. Right. Full circle. Full circle moment. Wow. 